from Ladies. I hope I said her name right. Um, what do you recommend to maintain languages you've previously worked on? So this truly depends on the personality. So I'm actually just going to give my own personal experience uh, since right now I'm not learning a new language, but I am maintaining my languages. One thing uh, that Shannon literally just said is playing video games in the language. And I do that as well. The games I tend to play don't have as much dialogue in them, but it still gets me in the right mode that I'm actually using them. But other than that, I, um, whenever I'm winding down for the night, instead of watching Netflix in English, I watch it in the language that I'm maintaining that day. So for instance, for German, I'm watching Dark. A lot of people may have uh, heard of that. It's a sci-fi show, kind of similar to Stranger Things. For por Portuguese, I've been watching Coisa Mais Linda, and I'm really enjoying that. And this has kind of helped me to wind down. And um, just as, as we're doing this live, I just saw in the stream of questions, people are asking which um, format for the subtitles should you go for. And generally, I highly recommend that you have the subtitles on in the same language that you're listening to. So when I'm watching Dark in German, the subtitles are in German, not in English, because I would feel tempted to get lazy and just read the English and kind of ignore all the German. But what I'm doing is I'm following along and then as they say a word, I'll actually pause it and I'll look that up, word up and I'll add it to my list of words to study. So it's just something to keep in mind that you it helps a lot if you're listening to the subtitles or listening to the audio while, while reading the subtitles. It also helps to associate the sounds to the actual words because I know a lot of us, we may be able to read a language, but we struggle with understanding it when it's spoken. So this helps with that. Uh, other things I do, I'm obviously, you know, being a YouTuber and a blogger and all that, I'm very big on social media in terms of I enjoy uh, posting things and I enjoy consuming things on social media. So I've actually made a separate account for the languages I want to maintain. So I have a separate Instagram account in each of my languages. I have a German Instagram account, a Spanish Instagram account, and I've also been enjoying uploading videos on TikTok. So I actually also have separate accounts for the languages I want to maintain. And I upload videos to, to, to my Spanish TikTok or my French TikTok. And ultimately, when it comes to maintaining the language, since this is not the same as my intensive learning period where I'm, I'm trying to get as much information into my brain as I can in a short time, this is the period that I want my life to be like in that language. And because I'm the kind of person who may watch the odd Netflix show and uh, does upload things on social media, um, it just makes sense that this is how I live my life. So I'm going to live my life through that language as well. I'm going to do as many things as possible while using that language. But at the same time, I do have a certain sense of this same uh, learning experience where I'm trying to have my spoken sessions in the language. So during my maintenance periods, I try to schedule sessions with spoken uh, with a teacher to get some spoken practice. And then I also try to have some true study period that I'm going through the um, words that I had noted during the Netflix shows that I wrote down that I need to remember that word or things my teacher told me to do. So I do have this active learning during my uh, maintenance phases, but I do try to make that active learning be kind of orbiting the actual use of the language and uh you know lots of there's so many things you can do it depends on your personality people will read books in the language they will try to maybe cook in the language and get a good cookbook in that language whatever your interests are you try to do that thing and then you improve on it as you go by uh doing the study that's geared towards that so that's um one thing that's my theme of how i maintain my languages if you'd like a done for you set of excellent language learning material to help maintain your language then i recommend pod 101 with dozens of languages and hours of audio and video it's a great way to maintain your target language sign up using our link to help our channel and get access to loads of free material